long since you heard one of these being played in the setting it was designed for, a theatre organ. You might not remember those days, but theatre organs were made for one special purpose, to provide the background music for the silent films. Sound effects too, pistol shots, thunder, a chime of bells, or the sound of surf on a beach. Theatre organs could produce them all and many more, and provide music with tones of excitement, love, jealousy or hate to match what was happening on the silent screen. Well, that's proved one thing, I'm afraid. I'm no Reginald Dixon. But if you're kind, then you may have recognised that piece as the Hawaiian Farewell. You know, it's some years now since most theatre audiences said farewell to the old theatre organ. These consoles used to rise majestically from their pits each evening, and the people settled back in the opulent surroundings to enjoy an evening of escapism with the latest epic from Hollywood. Well, the epics are still here, perhaps a bit bigger and a bit noisier than they used to be, but I'm afraid most of the old theatre organs are silent these days. This one in the State Theatre in Sydney has seen much better days. Half of the pipes and effects don't sound, and the keys are, well, they're rather battered and, and brown. But it costs a lot of money to keep a Wurlitzer organ in good condition. They really have to be tuned about twice a week. And theatre owners found, perhaps with the advent of telly, that uh, it just didn't pay to keep them in playable condition. But something is being done about this. Some theatre organs are making a comeback. A group of dedicated people have formed an organisation called the Theatre Organ Society of Australia. And some of the members even have Wurlitzer organs in their own homes. The New South Wales Secretary, Mr John Clancy, has built his home around a Wurlitzer theatre organ from the old Civic Theatre in Auburn in Sydney. This accounts for the shape of Mr Clancy's home. He built a music room to house the old theatre organ, a room bigger than the rest of the house. The room has sound insulation, but the music of a theatre organ is not so easily contained, and Mrs Clancy has music while she works at weekends in the garden. $2,000 the theatre organ cost Mr Clancy ten years ago, but it's taken many of those years to house the instrument and restore it to its present condition. Marrickville Town Hall in Sydney is the new home for another old theatre organ, this one from the Prince Edward Theatre in the city, demolished four years ago for new building development. The organ has been completely rebuilt. Mr Tom Heller, the Theatre Organ Society's president in New South Wales, and Mr Bill Richards, a mechanical expert working on the rebuilding project. This has been the Society's biggest project in Sydney in recent years. Nowadays, it would cost over $100,000 to build a theatre organ like this one. The Society got it for $1,000. But add to that, three years of work on the rebuilding and installation. Together, they've been a really big task. Mr John Quinnell, a member of the Working Committee, has helped to bring it to completion. Putting together the theatre organ at Marrickville has involved 735 pipes, 300 miles of wire and 150,000 soldered joints. It'll be ready for the official opening on Wednesday night.
The Society's Vice President for New South Wales is Mr Frank Ellis. Frank, it must be very satisfying for members of the Theatre Organ Society to have reached this stage with their installation of the organ. It really is, Jim. It's a thrill to have our organ finally ready for its premiere. How long was it in the Prince Edward? It was in the Prince Edward Theatre from 1924 until three years ago. Was it really? Yes. yes. And, uh, of course, now it starts a new career here in the Maryville It town. starts a whole new life because although the organ is 40 years old or more, the Wurlitzers were so magnificently built that all you have to do is recondition them and they come back good as new. You know, playing the theatre organ is definitely a, an individual art. Are there many players left these days? No, uh, it is a very, very complicated art and one which takes years to learn. Are there many younger people coming along these days, learning it? As a matter of fact, Jim, we have quite a few coming along. We have two or three professional uh, young ones in our society and some teenagers who already are showing very uh, a great deal of promise, very much promise, in fact. So that you, you, you wouldn't say that, uh, that, that the organ is merely valued for its nostalgia? Uh, no, no. Actually, the, the instrument is capable of interpreting almost every kind of music. Even before the organ was tuned, there was one artist who couldn't wait to try it out. Noreen Hennessy played it for many years at the Prince Edward Theatre. Now she was trying it out at Manicold. At present she plays at Sydney's Eastern Suburbs Leagues Club.